There's a lot of worry right now. You know, our budget deficit reaching a trillion dollars, big boost from last year. I mean, Howard Schultz has been already talking about that. One of the reasons and one of his pillars of his campaign, it sounds like, if he does decide to run, is that growing deficit. How worried should we all be about it? I don't think it's our biggest problem. When we've got life expectancy diminishing for middle class uh, men, when we've got an opiate epidemic, when our major airports in New York City are crumbling, when Americans are paying 75 cents uh, a gallon in extra automobile repair costs because of uh, potholes in highways, when uh, we are lagging increasingly in key areas of technology uh, like artificial intelligence behind China because of uh, underinvestment. We've got deficits, but the budget deficit, which we can fund for 30 years at 3% in a currency we print ourselves, that's not our biggest deficit as a country. And so the first priority needs to be fixing uh, that investment uh, deficit. So when does the budget deficit actually become a concern for investors? I mean, isn't that the real risk here, that the bond vigilantes descend upon the U.S.? It's, it, is, uh, it is a risk, um, but there are many risks. Another risk is that the economy will slide into recession. Another risk is that with very low interest rates, we'll have major asset bubbles. Another risk is that because of underinvestment in uh, education, our kids won't be prepared to compete in the mid-21st century uh, economy. You have to judge uh, the priority of risks. And, you know, the market makes a judgment about that when it prices long-term instruments and when it prices short-term instruments. And the fact that markets are pricing long-term interest rates at such a low uh, level is telling you what the current uh, market judgment is. So would it be better to have less debt? Of course. Would it be better to have a smaller deficit? Yes. But if we find a way of generating extra revenue, which is a higher priority? Paying down a bond on which we're paying 2% interest or investing in the future of the country, whether it's in infrastructure, whether it's in science, whether it's in our people. I just think we have many higher investments that pay much better returns than the 2 3% we can save by paying down debt. Larry, when you talk about an investment deficit, that sounds like more spending and adding more to the current uh, government deficit right now, unless you're doing a major overhaul of how the government operates in general. Is that what you're proposing? Not exactly. I mean, I, I think what the article that Jason Furman and I wrote uh, puts forward is that we should operate broadly on a pay-go basis. That is, if we want to do new things, we should figure out how to pay for them with higher taxes. And there's plenty of room to do that by adjusting aspects of the Trump tax cut that has done zero, nada, for investment and uh, economic growth. I mean, heck, business only wanted the rate cut to 25%, and it was cut more than business was originally asking for, down to 21%. And that's brought a lot of stock, stock buybacks. That's brought some increase in dividends. There is no evidence of any kind that it has brought any increases in investment or employment of uh, any significance. So there's things to Larry. do to correct the Trump tax cut. There's tax shelters uh, to, uh, to close. Why should it be that a billionaire is far less likely to be audited in America today than they were 10 years ago?